Hey babes, welcome back to another amazing video on another amazing Sunday. I hope that everybody is having a blessed week or had a blessed week. Right now it is Wednesday the 4th. <laughs> I'm doing to get ready with me today because I'm going to do my makeup. And yeah, y'all just going to get ready with me. What's up? So I'm back. We're taking down these uh, bands on my hair. I have to sneeze, like. But how was y'all week? Like, Sunday is the time to sit down and just process what's going on. Even though it's not Sunday for me right now, but um. I still want to know how y'all week went. So far, my week is like not going that bad. I just finished a eight page paper. So can I get a round of applause? Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Um, I had two eight page paper. One was for personality and the other one was for senior seminar uh, for psychology. And they're both psychology classes and they're both taught by the same professor. Uh, but yeah, like the first one was due last month on the 28th for senior sim and the one for personality was due yesterday. Well, not yesterday for y'all, yesterday for me, like on Tuesday, which was, um, October 4th. And yeah, I am so happy that I got those done because child, I was freaking stressing and I didn't start the personality one until yesterday. Like I literally started it yesterday and then I finished it today. Like, <laughs> like, you know, but now I'm back to regular schedule, at least until I have to do my full paper. Cause those were just, uh, rough drafts, but at least until I have to do my full paper, then I'm good. And the thing about the full paper is that it's just like the corrections it's literally just the corrections that the professor made on your rough draft so that should be easier on me right like yeah. i have my little drink that i made at the cash <laughs> my friend um my friend brianna put me on it's literally just lemonade and strawberries inside of it i'm like the only person that probably still uses eco style gel i feel like whenever my friend asks me do i have a like edge control or something i'd be like no but i have um eco and he always be like never mind and i'd be like oh because <laughs> like but it's like i know eco is bad for you but it's like it's like the only thing that's worth it for me and i just have to find a better gel for my hair and i'm pretty sure when i find a better gel like you, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Like I'm already unstoppable right now. But let me get my hands on that gel. Let me get my hands on that gel. Okay, so now it's time to get into this makeup. My hair is up. I'm still carrying all of my makeup in this little Walmart bag. I am so sadly out of all of my Elf Power Grip. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm using this uh primer, the Master Prime by Maybelline. Um, I, this was like, when I first started doing my makeup, I was using this and the Milani Make It Last Spray. Probably the worst freaking combo ever. But, I mean, my makeup still ate. It's just that I didn't know, like, better products to use. But, I ended up getting this primer again. Like, before I changed over my primer and what primer I used, um, I was using this primer. And... I think, what was the next primer I tried? Literally, the next, the next primer I ended up trying was the Elf Power Grip Primer. And then after that, like, I literally never went back. Like, that Elf Power Grip Primer that I just ran out of was my second bottle of it. So, that joint lasts you. It lasts you, like, for so long. Or was it my first bottle? I think that was my first bottle. I'm not going to lie. What's my second bottle is the Elf, uh, is the Elf Stay All Night. My first bottle was the, um, yeah, yeah. Before I used the Elf Stay All Night, I was using the Charlotte Tilbury one, though. And before Charlotte Tilbury, I was using the Milani. But, yeah, honestly, I need to get more Charlotte Tilbury. It's just that, you know, it's expensive. And, you know, 
I don't nobody nobody agreed to pay for my makeup shopping spree yet. So like I don't know y'all. We might have to wait. So now I'm just brushing up my eyebrows. I'm about to do my eyebrow color because I'm changing my eyebrow color for my hair. I meant for my makeup that uh, I want my eyebrows to match my hair. And I haven't tried to match my eyebrows to my hair with my hair down yet. So I want to see what it gives. The eyebrows are the eyebrows are glued down. Now I'm about to take this Morphe palette. I'm not showing y'all the inside of the palette because it's so busted up. But um, I use this certain color inside of it that gets me like the closest match to my hair. And this is what it looks like. It may look lighter on the camera, but when it's on my eyebrows, just just watch. Like, just watch. But yeah, tapping it, and then I'm going to just tap it on my eyebrows, like, very tight. I swear, when I put it on, I feel like my eyebrows are disappearing, but I'm just that girl in disguise. Honestly, I don't really be caring if it gets, like, messy over my eyebrows, because after I'm done this, I'm going to take a Q-tip, and I'm just going to, like, shape out my eyebrows. Now it's time. So, y'all, like, y'all know the drill by now. Me a minute, but keep watching. Voila! So the eyebrows are finished. We're about to add our concealer underneath, and then we're gonna start with the rest of the face, and then we're gonna be done in no time. And I think I'm gonna record my outfit off camera, but I still put a clip inside the camera. But but still, but still. Bear with me now. I'm using the same concealers that I literally always use, which is the Too Faced Born This Way in Cocoa and Chestnut. Um, what I like to do is, I like to put like, I'm running out, like, oh my gosh. I never seen the inside of this. This is bad. I need to re-up, y'all. Like, I'm literally scraping the sides right now. This is bad. This is bad. But I put all the... <laughs> I put all the chestnut concealer I can on there and I just do one little scoop of the cocoa concealer because I still want it light because I feel like cocoa is basically my skin color and this is like my concealer color. Like sometimes I feel like the uh, chestnut is a little bit too brighter so I like to add in like one swipe of the cocoa so it can tone it down but it can still be light on my skin in a way and still work as a concealer. I'm about to do a thin line. A thin line of concealer on your eyebrows just make it look so natural. So I'm gonna try my best. go ahead and put the concealer in my concealer response i'm gonna do it like an underpaint method i'm about to just add my contour up here and then yeah but before i add my contour i am going to take cocoa i'm gonna put a swipe on my hand and what i'm gonna do with this is put it over top of my eyebrow so that's what i was trying to say i think i when i put this like over top of my eyebrows it really doesn't like it, it blends it blends in like seamless i feel like this concealer is like dark for my well not dark i feel like this concealer is kind of light but i feel like oh not concealer this contour is kind of lighter than my skin and on my nose it looks so perfect though but i feel like it still gives me like a contour blend hold on I'm gonna just put this on my nose. I 
right, I'm gonna let this cool. <laughs> I always say cool down as if it's hot. I'm gonna let this uh dry down and then I'm gonna start blending the concealer and then I'm gonna blend my contour. I keep having to blow my nose in the middle of me doing my makeup. Worst thing ever, like it's so horrible. I don't want to keep blowing my nose because I am going to mess it up. I'm trying not to blend any of the contour that is by my nose. I'm just starting out with blending um the concealer that I placed down. So like above my eyebrow, my nose, under my eyebrow. Um, under my eyes like any concealer do my eyebrows look different from each other and this is a safe space so you can be honest to me because i don't like lines <laughs> but yeah hold on my first class isn't till uh 11 30 so i have a f like i have some time to do what I'm doing right now because I will be in class like really soon. I think I'm gonna just use like my leftover concealers to blend out like the ones that's on my chin. Like, I need to work on my hyperpigmentation uh, because I know that I can fix those up. Like, but I need to stop popping my face. I feel like whenever I pop my face, it's because, like, after I wash my hair, like, I get the most pimples and breakouts after I wash my hair. Or after my hair has been, like, on my face for a while. So, like, this is perfection. Blend inside the nose. Blend on the nose. I really love the method, the 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 one layer type of method, under paint type of method. I love it. I love it. It's like, it's so good. Like I was not expecting my contour to still stay. Look at my contour. <laughs> like that's so perfect. I feel like this is like literally how I'm gonna do my makeup from now on. Do I look crazy? Do I look crazy? I feel crazy, but the makeup isn't done yet, so I'm gonna try to pull it together and keep it together because I'm not about to let y'all see me down, sad and abused. Not abused, but see me down, sad, mad because of my makeup. Now it's time to get the sides. Hold on. Look at the nose contour, y'all. Please tell me it's perfect. Please tell me it's perfect. So at this point of the makeup is when I start to add like the foundation. I'm using the Elf Halo Glow. I'm gonna just put a few like because it's like a skin tint, it's gonna show um where I already did what I did. I feel like after I put the uh, satin powder under my eyes, like, look how much muter it gives. Like, I might go back in and add a bit more. Spreading out bad. Like, I don't use this one. Well, I do use it, but I use a little bit of it. Like, a majority of my focus is right here. You know, only, I use, like, an angled brush, if you can see. And when I do that, I just, like, suck in my jaw and just use the smaller angle to just break it up. It is 9.18 right now, which is pretty good on time for me because my class doesn't start until 11.30. So I, for once, feel like I'm not going to be late for class, <laughs> late to class. But I like to take a big fluffy brush and just blend in 
everything and like wipe off the powder because i don't want my my bronzer looking too sharp sometimes my bronzer looks a bit too sharp over here and this is weird oh no i'm using the elf putty blush in the shade caribbean because i feel like this is that only color that can give me that natural look that gives me like a light blush but it looks kind of like flush type of blush so i'm using that So honestly, I like to move that in too because sometimes the blush be looking very like put on and not like melted on type. So I like to do that. So about right now, my makeup is basically done, but I am going to add my highlighter because the makeup's not done to add the highlighter, the eyeliner. And I'm not going to put on any lashes. I'm going to just do my mascara and then I'm going to line my lips. But I'm going to also do that on camera. So you don't got to worry about me running away. You don't. You really don't. I literally always use this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. I never really applied my highlighter with a small brush like this, but recently I have, and I feel like it's like perfect. Cause it's like, all you gotta do is wipe it on and like highlight, just highlight in a circle. Make sure you get by your underbrow, I mean your underbrow, make sure you get by your eyebrow. I feel like this technique just gives it like, I feel like do a C, Basically, I keep saying I feel like, but just circle around like this. You can't touch me. Like, you ain't messing with me. The glow is giving glow. The glow is glow, girl. Now, let's set and spray. Get it? I, list, I, said, I said, let's set and spray. So, like, set and spray. Let's set and spray. Right, I like to drown my face in set and spray. Like, I'm not going to lie. But I should probably get, like, a little fan. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm going for like, I'm going for like a really caked on mascara look because since I'm not using any lashes, I want my lashes to look like they're there. Okay, it's time for the lip combo and the extra beauty marks, okay. <laughs> now, I use like two lip liner pencils. Uh, well, this is this one is like a eyeliner, but it was also it was like labeled because I got it from a beauty supply store. It says eyeliner, but it also said lip liner, so I just picked up this because it can be used for both. <laughs> but I want I like to use uh the Ruby Kisses um 24 hour eyeliner and it's in like brown and just uh you know go over my lips. I also like to put on. Vaseline before I line my lips because it also gives the liner a smoother glide, but it also keeps my lips moisturized and protected. And look, there goes the lip liner. Let's add a little bit more. And then I take this lip liner that I got in a Ipsy package. It's from the brand. It's from the brand Amina, and it's in the shade Hot Rose. This is the shade right here, if you guys can see it. It's like really pink, really red. But yeah, I like to add that. Like I still want my lip liner to look brown, but I be wanting it to have like um, undertone. So that's what I use it for. And then I use this Marja Kluja lip balm. Once I apply my lip liner, my lip gloss, I like pat it off a little bit, like not too much. I'll take a paper towel and just over it. So it stains on my lips. It doesn't really take away. Once I've done that, I just take any clear lip gloss and I just apply it as the top coat. But yeah, this is basically the finished makeup. I'm gonna come back when I am fully dressed and I'm gonna insert a clip of me getting dressed. <laughs> officially done with my look today um i decided to wear a little combo fit like i just want to stay comfortable but here's the makeup that's the outfit and i will see you guys next sunday see you bye